Hi, I'm Alex Storrs. I'm a professor of astronomy here at Towson University, and I want to talk to you today about why there are probably no UFOs. This demonstration is based on the principle of special relativity. Einstein's principle is actually quite simple. It says basically that the speed of light is the same for all people. A consequence of this is that if you go faster and faster, time dilates, time stretches, time slows down for you. Our time is equal to the UFO time times this contraction factor, one over the square root of one minus V, the velocity of the UFO squared, divided by the speed of light squared. In order to make this time dilation noticeable, say a factor of 10, you have to travel within one half of 1% of the speed of light. For an alien to be understandable, recognizable to us, it probably has to do a lot of the same things we do. Entropy limits processes of this sort to lifetimes of about 100 years. Aliens will probably have a lifetime of about 100 years if we have an alien that devotes its entire life to interstellar travel. And it spends 50 years going out and then 50 years coming home. Traveling within one half of 1% of the speed of light, it will experience a time dilation of a factor of 10. Its 50 years will be 500 years to us. That 500 years traveling at nearly the speed of light, it'll travel 500 light years. This is our Milky Way galaxy. Center of the galaxy, the sun over here, about halfway out to the edge. I can cover all the stars within 500 light years of our sun with the eraser on this pencil. We can observe all those stars fairly easily from Earth, and we're pretty certain there are no Earth-like planets and there are no living species on those planets. So the best physics, the best chemistry, the best biology that we have indicate that there are probably no UFOs. Thank you.